Welcome back, everybody, to the 2023 Shoot for the Moon here in Decatur, Alabama. We have a youth adult finals getting ready to happen here as we are underway in our 13 to 19 year old division. We got Taylor and Waltz taking on Harper, Harper and Steinhofer in this match to open our Sunday off with some good darts. Let's go ahead and we'll get our, uh, we'll zoom that in just a little bit. There we go. So we'll get our <coughs> scoreboard posted here. Let's get some first and last names for these individuals. As we turn on our board sound as well. Welcome to USA Darts, folks. Happy to have you here on Super Bowl Sunday. Let's go ahead and hear it in the chat. Let's go Chiefs. Right? Oh, okay. <clears throat> Maybe not for some people, but that's all right. Tell you what, Mr. Taylor here throwing well. Nice, solid ton. I guess I'll put that in for you. I mean, who wants to hear that, right? 
And Danny Baggis joining me. <laughs> yeah. Back at it with the Will Stewart of USA Darts. What a morning uh, to start off with youth. Always yeah, good. Always good. So, uh, first name basis here Kyle Harper, John Steinhofer, Eugene Waltz, and Thomas Taylor. So, those are our first name, last names there. Steinhofer, of course, been a good shot for quite some time. Former CDC tour card holder, now a new CDC tour card holder after his top four in Q School. Absolutely. And kudos to these guys. Getting up in the morning, coming down here, supporting these kids. Um, it's just, it's good to see. So I'm wondering if the first name is wrong for Taylor because it says Mason on his shirt. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> Thomas Taylor may not be right. It may be Mason Taylor, although Dark Connect says uh, otherwise. Gene here, looking at the 145. Is it really Gene, though? It's Eugene. <laughs> Eugene. But, yeah, I like the Gene. I, f I feel like you can put any name on your shirt. <laughs> just roll, be okay. Just roll, just roll with it. You need to go with the bag man on the, on the front for you. <laughs> All this, right. this got out of hand real quick. It did. 54 <laughs> remaining. As you play, what are you playing? What are you playing over there? Backgammon. <laughs> Who plays backgammon? Uh, so you heard it here, folks. Secretly, Danny Baggish is 82 years old. <laughs> <laughs> Incorrect. Well, I'm playing backgammon, not cribbage. <laughs> oh my God. An unfortunate go around for Taylor there. He leaves 54 for his uh, partner. Kyle did take out some clutch checkouts earlier. I just stepped out into the hall and watched him and John play uh, an opponent. And Kyle took out 20, uh, 24 fairly easily. Nice. His first go round at the board. See, Mr. Taylor's having a little bit of a struggle some here. That's quite all right. It happens. It's so, it's so hard uh, as a kid. I remember when I used to. Man, I used to be, get so upset it's, uh, when playing. It's controlling those emotions. They're still learning how to do that. I mean, it can be difficult. Absolutely. John setting it up, 98. Not able to take it out uh, due to the rules, even though I feel like he is the type of guy to try to take it out anyways. <laughs> <laughs> He's a nice guy. Nice guy, though. Yeah, so you saw him pull after a second dart. The reason why is these kiddos have to take out the checkout. That's the that's the format here. So you see Mason here a little upset that he left double three, but hey, go for it. If you smack it, you get it. Good stuff. And he does exactly that. that. Good shot. What a dart. Once again, William Stewart here alongside me, Mr. Danny Baglish, the gambler. I know that was a little, what, what? <laughs> What a great opportunity for you guys to let me do this with you, Will. I appreciate it, buddy. Oh, shoot. No problem at all. No problem at all. We are happy to have you. A familiar voice, familiar name for a lot of folks. Nice to hear your opinions on matters. I've been getting a little, little uh, math lesson from you, uh, per se, on probabilities and, and uh, certain checkouts. It's been nice to go over that with you that is uh that's one thing i feel like i have you know depending on who i'm playing against uh, they say you have a, a three dart dart advantage mm -hmm. when your your board management is good so um yeah i pride myself on that but i've been keeping score since i was 11 years old really for players like roger carter actually one of them so, you know, that's a thing that overseas they do is you're not allowed to play in a game until you can chalk a game is what I hear for, like, UK is that's how they treat that. So, yeah, you got to learn how to chalk before you can talk the talk and walk the walk. Absolutely, yes. and I think that is something we should be implementing here. Matches would go a lot faster. The tournament would be a lot smoother. If you lose, one of you stay in chalk. Mm-hmm. 
that easy or yep. get someone to chalk for you. True. Takes that couple seconds out of the game. Let's be honest, she'll save a whole couple minutes at the, end of the, at the end of the round. Absolutely. Oh my goodness, she's gonna say it again. Can we stop hearing you talk? Oh, is that Paula? <laughs> Mixed doubles partner from yesterday, Paula, in the house. Well done yesterday, Paula. I appreciate you showing up to the event, the hopping on my back. They paid their way out of, into a first place finish. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh. uh, did they catch that on? Did they catch that on there? <laughs> oh man. Playing a little backgammon, Paula. But more importantly, watching these uh, s almost 60 averages by these this duo youth adult, uh, Steinhofer and Harper, which and Taylor and Waltz. Man. Now the question is: Is Taylor Mason? Yeah, yeah. That's that's Chris Taylor's son. Chris Taylor's son of Taylor Apparel. He does a lot of the jerseys. That one there, right. he, he did. So, you know, Paula. I didn't realize Danny was this old until I think mean, he could have a little gray on the face now, but he's playing backgammon. Jeez Louise. <laughs> Ten? Oh my goodness. Uh, um, that does uh, kind of remind me of Kyle Harbor. What are you talking about? Like a she standard? Oh. Oh my! So apparently, so apparently, an incident happened on the board or standard earlier, where the pole was kicked and the stand or the board started to fall. Kyle went up there and grabbed it from two boards, from two over. boards over. Oh wow! That is an Olympic athlete right there, as Paula Murphy is letting us know in the background. One forty to look for Kyle here. So Kyle, a lifesaver this weekend. Let's be honest. Yeah, it was quite the uh, leap uh, that he took. Fortnite icon from over in Wales asking how Danny, uh, how, hi Danny, how you doing? Fortnite icon from Wales, he's oh, a Wales guy. What's going on, my Welsh buddy? I'm doing all right, not too bad. As long as I wake up every morning, life is absolutely wonderful. That is my motto. Good last start there. Is able to capitalize 65 scored that will produce a checkout at least. Tell you what, Mason and Kyle are pretty good shots. If they can just kind of tighten it up a little bit, I think that's the main thing for your youth. If they can tighten it up and stay with the game, especially when they get to that 18, 19, 20, 21 year range, because let's be honest, things can stray them to different sports and stuff, even in high school, I guess. If they can maintain and stay with the game, we may have some avid players for quite some time. I agree, and it's and it's hard also, like with with coming up in any kind of sport being young to control your emotions yeah and you, you get angry real a, a lot easier and so forth so um, they have a lot to learn but with the right guidance right mentors yeah right ambassadors our sport is in the right hands exactly exactly 56 remaining he'll just set it up does he go just two eights and leave the tops nah he's gonna Leave him with the 32. Steinhofer showing the nerves, even in youth adult. 
Uh, he's just he's just getting on that gum. You know, usually when you're chewing gum like that, you're nervous. <laughs> I don't you, know how people you, do it. Watch him. He is he's getting it. I don't know how people do that. Like chew gum when they're playing, and I, I don't either. And it's it's like he chews it, and as he he's going to set up, it's, that's when he takes the break. Hey, there look at that is. big hit! It's double thirteen for Taylor as he is able to win it with Eugene Waltz. It says Thomas Taylor. I'm guessing it's Mason Taylor is what he prefers by. But we're gonna go ahead and snap some photos. Cindy's up there to snap some as well. We'll be right back, folks with our 12 and under division. I think we're going to play the semifinals and then the finals, so we may have a lapse here in uh, a match. But nonetheless, maybe we can get Danny to go do some trick shots or something. What? Did I say that out loud? <laughs> <laughs>
Here with Danny Baggish at the 33rd annual Shoot for the Moon. Danny, how many times you've attended this event? Uh, too many to count. <laughs> <laughs> Way too many. Well, you're uh, from the Florida area, so not too far of a distance for you. How, how far did you travel to get here? Um, well, I used to live in the Panhandle, so it was, it was a lot shorter. It was about four hours. But now that I live near Orlando, it's 10, 10 to 11. It's a little bit further of a distance, but you're still here nonetheless, and it's a big seven-week trek for you, I believe. You're going to head off to some WDF events as well as numerous others. Uh, excited to make your make your uh, little run here. What do you What do you say? Yeah, yeah. I just have to get used to it again. It's it's different from playing one match, two match, three matches, or just one event all day. Where here you're playing two, three, four events sometimes all day. So stay off my feet. Uh, I'm on a diet, so more energy. And uh, yeah, let's see how it goes. Yeah, get those little Z's when you can, sneak them in. Um, maybe behind the curtain, take a quick nap or something. Yeah, I feel you on that one. Uh, but good luck to you this week, and we're excited to have you back on the circuit here in the States. Uh, see how you do uh, this year. What do you say? I appreciate it. I appreciate you and Savan. Thank you, guys. Thank you. All righty, here with Jason Brandon of Cowan, Tennessee. Hopefully I said that right. Uh, how many times have you been here at Shoot, Shoot for the Moon? Oh, wow. Probably since I've been playing in 96. I started coming to tournaments in 97. I've probably been to about 15 of them because I took about eight years off uh, when I started working night shift at Nissan. So I quit tournaments, quit playing darts at all for about eight years and then picked back up tournaments and I've only missed a couple since 2009. Well, I didn't even I didn't even realize you had been playing the game since since that that long <laughs> since the 90s. So that's a little surprise to me. But how far was your travel down here anyways? It's an hour and 20 minutes and I am driving back and forth. I'm not staying. Oh. I, I don't drink. So I just travel most of the Chattanooga. I'm an hour from Chattanooga. I'm usually an hour from Huntsville, hour and 15, 20 minutes from Nashville. I drive all those tournaments. I don't ever stay. Wow, I didn't know that. Well, hey, you can, it can save you a little cash on that side, and then, you know, just... It's easier. It, yeah. Well, I had to go home last night to pick up my daughter. She came in from Georgia, so she was come back. She came back with me this morning, so... Now, does she live in Georgia, or...? Yes, down at Warner Robins, where she works. She lives in Warner Robins. Okay, okay. well, she's a phenomenal shot as well. Clan is who we're talking about here. Yep, yep definitely. Uh, she's picked it up really quick. Mm -hmm. She's been playing with me for off and on probably about seven, eight years. Even when she was in high school, she played the youth adult stuff with me and stuff. Played mixed events, and uh, but she's really picked it up the last couple of years herself, and she's she's making a name for herself. She's making a good run. Well, you've made a name for yourself. I'm sure she's gonna make make a name for yourself. And watch out, mixed doubles, because uh, <laughs> that team's gonna be a force for quite yeah. some time. I love playing mixed with her. I love playing mixed with her. That's 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 one of my I'm trying to get my son to come out and play some doubles with me, but uh, he don't he don't play it. That he plays a little bit, but. Not too much, but I'm, I'm trying to get him out some. So. Yeah, at least you got one participant. Oh, yeah. That's good. Yeah. That's good.
Yeah. All righty. Well, thanks for uh, having a chat with us. We definitely appreciate it. Good luck to, for you this uh, weekend. Any, any goals? I'm, I'm sure a win would be nice. Oh, yeah, definitely. I'm looking for some wins, maybe uh, doubles, me and Chaney. Hopefully we can pull one or two of them off. And then uh, I'm always after the singles. You know, I don't, you know, may or may not just depends on what run I get on. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. There we and, go. Mixed doubles. I'm looking for that one too. That, that's another <laughs> one, me and Clayana. So, of yeah. course. Well, good luck. We appreciate right. you chatting with us. Thanks, Jason. Appreciate it. appreciate it. Here with Paula Murphy at the 33rd annual Shoot for the Moon. Thanks for taking a moment to chat with us. We definitely appreciate it. Making the trek in from Florida. How many times you've been here? Uh, been here a few times, but the last time I think was just before COVID, and then I started going to Camilla a couple times. So it's been my first time back for a while. Well, it's a good tournament. It's nice to see a lot of people in the room, uh, and it's a WDF Silver event. I know, I know that's important for you as well. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, because I am definitely chasing the points, and I'm going to Lakeside again, but I want to get more points. So more points is always needed, especially with the new two-year ranking system. That's important. So excited to see you here, and excited to see how you do this weekend. Uh, who's your partners this weekend? Uh, anyways, uh, Danny Baggish uh, in the mixed and. Danny Warmack and the ladies. Well, solid shots there. Could make another run just like uh, per, per usual. Paula Murphy up there in the finals, some at least in a couple events, huh? Yeah, I try. I try. That's, that's what we do. There we go. Well, thanks for taking a moment just to chat with us about your weekend here. Excited to see how it, how it goes for you, as well as excited to see how you end up on the WDF ranking system. Thank you. I've, I'm excited myself. <laughs>
All righty, just to give you a quick update, it looks like we've already got uh, one team into our finals for the 12 and under, and the other team is in a 1-1 one, one, one match right now, I believe. So we're going to get our 12 and under, or 6 to 12-year-old youth adult here in just a moment on this main stream. We wanted to keep this on one stream for the uh, finals of our 13 and 19 and 6 to 12. So hang tight. We'll have that one in just a moment.
And here we go with our youth adult 6 to 12 year old. It's May and May taking on uh, Gulia McGeorge. I think this is uh, McGeorge here, the name I saw on the back of his jersey. I do want to get some side piece information. I want to get the age of these two lovely individuals. And we're going to grab my chair as well. Hold on one second. Alrighty, I went out there and asked, hey, young man, would you like a chair? And he said, no, I don't want a chair. I'm good. <laughs> I said, okay, young man, no chair for you then. So McGeorge, he said uh, he's seven years old, and then he quickly said, eight, no, eight, eight. So we're going to go with eight years old for this gentleman. Ten is the young lady. So that is our ages there for these two one, and it's Willie May Aiden May taking on Eugene Gully and Truett McGeorge. I think it's Truett. Oh, if we got that right, we'll just keep with McGeorge in the meantime. Looks like we got a chalker stepping up to help these guys out. That's great. We'll go uh, up with our board cam here. We'll kind of keep going with that one, hopefully, so that we don't have any blocked heads or anything like that. Just going to have to be good with the camera work today. That's a ton answer. Aiden with that sort of double clutch throw there, similar to maybe a Cali West. Not as prominent, but similar indeed. It is nice to feature some of this youth adult match. We did, unfortunately, skip out on the mixed doubles last night, but we thought this one was important to come up here and at least feature the finals of this one before we get into some ladies doubles and men's singles cricket action. All cricket today other than this, this event. So uh, looking forward to having that one as we've got, yeah, like I said, ladies cricket, ladies doubles cricket and men's singles cricket that start at 11. Ladies singles cricket and men's doubles cricket starts at one. So I think the goal, the mindset is to hopefully get out of here with enough time for everybody to watch the Super Bowl this evening. For us, we're gonna have to tear down still. So Will may have to use his laptop to throw up that old game. Oops, forgot that camera angle, sorry.
May with 61 there. Good last on the 48. See that little little double clutch she does there just to kind of steady your arm and get ready. If it works for her. She's got a solid little st shot here for 10 years young. Anxious to see what she does here in the future. Because let me tell you what. These could very well be our next national champions. Oh, big hit from, from McGeorge there. The youngster pops a big triple 20 as a flight falls off. So one five one needed. I would say, yeah, that's something. Making the old change here. There we go. That'll make the adjustment, hopefully. There we go. Yep, 110 left. Let's say I don't know why that beta shot us. Young man looks at his pops. Make sure he's going at it right. His pops. I shouldn't say pops. He's looking at his teammate, because that may not be his pops, so. <laughs> Big double bull on the last dart. It's gonna be 62 scored to leave 48. Now the youth does have to take this out, so we're gonna go down here and we'll keep it here for these youth competitors to take this dart out. And I'm I'm not sure if it's a single out in this one. I think it, I, I'm assuming it's single out. We'll see. It may take a while to not single out. 18. <laughs> Leaves 30. So 15, 15? No, that's one. So that's 29 left. See 38 scored here, 28 remaining for McGeorge. Five leaves 23. 12 leaves 11. They still may have to double out. I'm not certain of this one. I assume it's single, like I said. But that's on me for not asking. On the rule, let me check our sheet here. Six leaves four. Yeah, I'm not seeing it on the sheet. So I'm going to assume single out. There it is. Yep. Big fat 11, as that's the first leg for McGeorge. My assumption was right. I, would, I had a hard time believing that we would have to go double out here for these youth. I mean, that would be quite the task. Although a lot are capable. It may kind of sway things towards the longer side. We will diddle it up here.
ahead and just making sure we're ready and set up to go. As McGeorge leads us off once again. Just 17 scored, but Gonna have a few of those dips and dives throughout the evening. Busy day of of darts action here, I'd have to say. We've got our events today, but we've also got the World Seniors going on. Leonard Gates making his way into the semifinals. We'll play Richie Housen later on today. Looking forward to that matchup. So you also got the Players' Championship number two. That's been going on in the background. I want to see if that's actually over and done with or not. When you're kind of on site, you do you tend not to be able to well, just that be able to uh, stay on track of everything. Looks like it's still underway. Luke Humphrey, Simon Whitlock in the semis. Brendan Dolan, Danny Knopper in the other semifinals. So good to see Simon Whitlock in the semis in the Players' Championship after coming to the States for the Las Vegas Open. That was pretty neat. Good 57. That's 60 overall. Looking for the ton and it pops out. That's only 40 scored. The point's got to be touching for it to count. Kind of chop down the tree here is McGeorge. Taking his wax at it. Eventually it'll start falling down. All right, took that first leg out. Aiden here trying to take out this second leg to force a 1-1 one -one match. Still a big 95 there. Big 95 indeed. McGeorge stepping up there. I think he almost thought he was up next. May with 83. I think
think it'll be yeah, let's say if I'm Gelly, I go ahead and take my shot here. I, I still got room to work with, so whittle this down to an easier checkout for McGeorge. Seventeen, staying down there. George doing that little twiddle of the of the dart in his hands before he throws. I kind of like that. Mensor Sulovich esque. Leaves you 22, Aiden. Two 11s, if you would, or 18 for four. Oh, no, she hit the 14. I think that's a bust. It is a bust. Unfortunate there. She miscounted. I think she thought she had 14 left instead of four. That's all right. It's a battle between these youngsters now as... Aiden and Truitt, I believe it is. We go at this. Just three, so that's 37. 20 will leave her 17. She's been hitting that 17 often, so I have a feeling she may be in a good spot unless McGeorge can take out this 51. Remember, single out, folks. Four for 47. Ooh, unfortunate darts there. Needing a two. Oh, and into the 10. See the look at look at Aiden right now. She's got that look of nerves on her face. That's 17. Got to go double 15 here for the win, but he's gonna go 19. Smart move. I think these kids are just like, yeah, I'm just gonna throw at this board and get it there. Look at this nice little Cali West action. The the two pump, the old double pump, and there it is, the 17. Like I said, I think she's been hitting that all day. She shouldn't have any problems with it and she gets it and makes it 1-1. One, one. We will head into a last league decider here for our 6-12 to 12 year old youth adult event. McGeorge is going to look at the bull as he sticks that tongue way out to the left side of his mouth. A future Sestefano in the making. <laughs> Here we go, 501, our last leg decider. May and May taking on Gully and McGeorge. Who will be crowned our champions? Step Willie May.
Oh, my. McGeorge. McGeorge with a good hit. 96 plus 25. Nice. 1-2-1 one, one there. <laughs> right? Danny Baggish laughing at me in the background because I just did some quick math and, and <laughs> it made it easier on myself. And he goes, you could have figured that out by yourself. <laughs> Don't we make it fun? Here we go into the trip 20 bet again for Gully and McGeorge. This time it's an 81 on the board. Change my angle there. Sorry about that. Not often we have to do this many changes with the youngsters going to the adults here. 269 needed for Aiden. Do want to thank you all for taking a moment to. As Danny just throws away <laughs> my whole setup here. Do you want to thank you folks for taking a moment to support our youth here at the 33rd Annual Shoot for the Moon. I know they're excited to be on the stream, as they should be. Why wouldn't you be excited to get your face out there to the world? Looking at the one at seven five here. Twenty six leaves one four nine. This Gully hopes to bring this on down for McGeorge. Reminder McGeorge and Young Miss May will have to take this one out. So the winning dart will be in the hands of these two youngsters, aged 10 and 8. And no matter what, they've had a fun day on the Aki with, I believe, Aiden has her father with him. They're with her. I'm not sure about Nick George. I'm not sure if that's, I'm sure there's relation there. Not sure what. I didn't notice that. I think Aiden and Aiden and Willie are using the same set, too. So. Good thing about all these youth competitors, they don't know it yet. Some of them do because they're already out and they've got their package, but everyone is getting a set of darts today. Set of darts and a couple other things, so pretty cool. What? <laughs> 
What was that? <laughs> 69 remaining here. You can see Aiden talking it over with, with Pops. She just hit a 15. It's right next to that 17 that she loves. Go up there, step up. First, second dart. Come on, Aiden, you got it. Just outside. She could use that. That's quite all right. Go up to the five now. She's double checking, making sure. Single five for the win. That's, a, that's all right. No bust, no harm, no foul. Maybe she would have wanted the bust. All righty. How about right next to it, the single one, and he hits a trip 20. This kid's been hitting trip 20s all day, and unfortunately does it when he doesn't have to. Single four for Aiden. And there it is. Congrats to Aiden and Willie May, who are going to be crowned your champs in this one congratulations to them we'll get a side view here we'll go grab a picture as well pretty good day of darts for them let's go do that real quick we'll shut down our stream before uh restarting it up for ladies doubles and men's singles cricket hang tight though let's go snap a photo Alrighty, folks, we are going to be right back. We're going to shut down our stream. We may wait for a round to go through for men's uh, singles before we start up the stream again, but we have some more action coming your way from the 33rd annual Shoot for the Moon. Don't go anywhere, folks. Keep your eyes on our page, our platforms, whether it be YouTube and or Facebook. We got more coming your way from this event. We'll see you in a few for the 33rd annual Shoot for the Moon, brought to you by USA Darts. Oh. 